What's up YouTube fam? Today I'm doing something that I don't usually do which is hitting Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls right before they close. It's not completely dark yet because it's summer and you know it's, it's still be light out at this time. But anyway, I'm gonna hit all three stores and it's gonna get dark soon. So let's go. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm talking about. All section of hardly anybody in it. Mm -hmm. No done hunters, nothing. So of course, as you guys know, all the Thanksgiving stuff is out. There's a gobble to you wobble. There's Here's a roast pan and a whisk bowl set. Official done section. Black sip. Two black sips. Got a whole bunch of gobble stuff. We got gobble everywhere. Here's a third one. So we got gobble everywhere. Still no honey pots. This is totally not done related, but I'm a huge Disney fan, and I just think this is adorable. Look at this. That's adorable. Oh, here's the done clearance section, by the way. We got some mixing bowls, a butter dish. You finally put these on clearance. I was sick of looking at them. <laughs> All right, check some end caps. I'm at Home Goods, by the way, if I failed to mention that earlier. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be done out of luck today. First time I've seen something like this, though. Yeah, yeah it's definitely like Thanksgiving season. Here's a Halloween one, kind of like hiding in there. Trick or treat bowl, more gobble. But this is the melamine, I don't know if I'm saying it right, melamine, you guys will have to correct me in the comments. Here's a thankful dish. Yeah, we are just chock full of Thanksgiving. Just quite frankly, the mugs are what's popular, so everyone goes for that first. Yep. Here's a spooky dish set. But other than that, I think, I think that's gonna be it. Here's an end cap. Another which is brutal. Check the front real quick and then we're out of here. section up front. There's no done here. And no done here. They don't even have like the Ray done napkins. <laughs> They've definitely been picked clean by the Saturday shoppers. made the choice to film at night just because I'd seen a couple posts about people finding things at closing um, and about employees like restocking you know after all the shoppers has left but so far that is not the case for home goods I'm definitely gonna check TJ's and Marshall's and I might even run like the next town over and, and see we'll just see depends on how tired I am <laughs> so I work today so all right, let's get to TJ's or Marshall's. Okay, I decided to stop into TJ Maxx next. 
I'm not showing which one I'm at and I won't be mentioning that anymore just for like, I don't know, for safety reasons. I don't know that I necessarily want to disclose all the places I go. <laughs> I know it probably sounds silly, but I got a lot of flack from that Ray Dunn negative experience video I posted and I just don't like being approached by people in a negative way. So anyway, here we go. We got a bus and a feast. Don't see any more done on this shelf. Here we got a ton of done on clearance. Hmm. I wonder if they just sat it there. I don't know that that's necessarily on clearance, but it's on clearance stuff with the yum and the whip. <laughs> Got a tasty cake stand. Toss, I assume that means toss salad. It's like an extensive mug set here, but <laughs> I don't think any of it's very done. <laughs> There's like shelves and shelves of this not very done. <laughs> I like this though. This is cute. Yeah, I'm pretty positive none of this is very done. It's just general. Halloween decor. Ooh. Mm -hmm. It's cute too. Oh, hold on. You got a happy Halloween dancing skeletons plate set. Oh, here's a trick or treat kickstand. Two of them. Kickstand times two. And we got a whole bunch of. I think this says haunted back there. On the melamine, melamine bowls. I wouldn't mind finding that boo pillow. I just don't think they have it. I can be honest and say I have literally never found anything in this TJ Maxx. Ever. I'll do one more once over. We already checked this out. I'll do one more once over. And then we're going to hit the Marshalls. And possibly call it a night. We'll see. Oh, here's the done section. Me and mugs here. I think this is the new style. I don't care for this. I don't like this. Bobble and abundance. White and red. Gotta gather. Um, another gather. Gotta be grateful. There's just like a lot of random stuff. Here's a good dog. Dog treat canister. Yeah, I mean, nothing special. Just a lot of random stuff. And some more jars. Alright, let's hit Marshall's. YouTube fam, you guys have to tell me, am I the only one that feels like TJ Maxx and Marshall's always smells like the perfume of many women? Like when I'm in there, I feel like I can smell every woman's perfume. Nobody else, just me? Cool. I'm just saying, not saying it's like a bad thing, but honestly, <laughs> every time I'm, I go in there, I'm always like, who, who is that? Where, where's that coming from? And like, I know what you might think, it's like the candles or something. No, it's like the perfume 
of many women. Undone related, but I'm hitting Michael's now because I need to get football shaped cookie cutters because I'm making football shaped brownies tomorrow for the kickoff of the first Falcons game of the season. If you guys didn't know, my husband is a huge Falcons fan and now of course so is the rest of the house. Let's see. Where might the cookie cutters be? They're in the baking section. Cookie cutters, where are you? Hmm. I promise you there's like a whole section. <laughs> I know there's a whole section of cookie cutters. I know it has to be. But where? And then I'm trying to like duck and dodge filming people. They're jumping in my shot. <laughs> I looked on Michael's website and they had the football shaped cookie cutters. I'm an idiot. I walked right past the whole thing of cookie cutters. I'm an idiot. Okay. I don't see football. <laughs> of course. Let me give a. Um, no. This makes me sad. Okay, well, going to Marshalls. Alright, YouTube fam, I'm at Marshalls now. So far, I've gotten butt kiss, so. <laughs> so far, I've gotten absolutely nothing for all these efforts, so. Here we go, store number three. Got some gathered and bus containers, galvanized. Oh, got some let's stay home and some happiness is homemade, I believe is what that said. In the clock section. Faces and faces everywhere. Oh look, it's my arch nemesis, the boss mug. <laughs> Here's a gulp. Hanging up right behind my arch nemesis. <sighs> and a happy haunting. Which I'm pretty sure we saw at the last store as well. Ooh, this is messy. <laughs> okay. okay, we got a lot of done here. I don't really see any mugs. So let's take our time because last time I know I missed stuff. We got morning pumpkin. We got fall, y'all. We got a boo down there. Boo bowl. Yes, the more uh, happy Halloween dancing skeleton plates, which are everywhere, because clearly no one wants those. <laughs> um, here's a stuffed orange inside. A whole bunch of rows of morning pumpkin, I believe. And just like a whole bunch of canisters and cake trays. Mm. And of course, we, I haven't seen any honey pots on our journey today. It's a giant, be grateful. <sighs> Just some more plates. All right, YouTube fam, I think that's gonna do it for this mini little hunting at night adventure. Cause your girl is tired. 
Um, but I can't end this video without giving this a shout out to my super sweet Dunn buddy. She met me all the way at my job today so we, we could exchange our mugs. Um, she bought me the Black Boo, which was one unicorn that I had, and then Hocus Pocus, which was my second unicorn. So that is, that pretty much puts an end to my collection. Um, of course I want the Honey Pot too, but girl, let's not get greedy. I'm pretty much just on the hunt now for anything Halloween. Just, like I said, I just enjoy the hunt. I enjoy the search. I enjoy trying to go at different times for you guys. Um, but the reports that I'm getting is that the Halloween stuff is coming out and the morning hunters are kind of snatching it up. Like I said, with summer being over, I don't have that ability anymore to run out to the stores first thing in the morning. So I'm kind of just going when I can. So, you know, this is what it is. I'll get what I get. What is that? What is that? Uh, it's a phrase they say, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Sorry I'm moving so much. I'm trying to keep people out of my shot. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get out of here, YouTube. As always, thank you for so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.